O Diyos, aming Ama, ang lahat ng nilalang ay marapat na sumamba sa iyo. Higit sa iyong mga biyaya, sinasamba ka namin dahil ikaw ay ikaw. Lumalapit kami sa iyo, dakilang tagapaglikha, nagsusumamo at humihingi ng kapatawaran. Kami ay nagkulang at nagkasala. Patawarin mo kami sa katigasan ng aming mga puso. Turuan mo kami at dalhin sa inyong kalooban. Tingnan mo kami ng may awa at kahabagan. Hilumin mo po ang aming bayan, ang aming mga mahal sa buhay, kaibigan, kapitbahay, karatig bayan, ganun din ang aming mga kaaway sa pandemyang kinahaharap namin sa COVID-19. Isama niyo na rin ang mga may sakit sa iba't ibang karamdaman. Panginoon, balutin mo kami ng inyong kaluwalhatian. Itago mo kami sa lilim ng inyong mga pakpak laban sa anumang kapahamakan o wala sa oras na kamatayan. Kristo, ang tinapay ng buhay, alalahanin niyo po ang mga namumuno sa aming bansa ang mga ilaw at haligi ng bawat tahanan at mga kawani na nagtatanggol sa aming siguridad at mga frontliners. Batid mo, Panginoon, ang mga dinaraanan at bawat ganap sa aming buhay. Espiritong banal, aming tanggulan at gabay, imulat ang aming mga mata at ipakita si Jesus ang Panginoon at tagapagligtas ang nag-iisang katotohanan at tanging daan tungo sa Ama. Wala nang iba. Purihin ka, o aming Diyos. Ang presensya mo ay tunay na biyaya ng aming buhay. Ito ang aming samot panalangin sa pangalan ni Jesus, kordero ng Diyos na nag-aalis ng kasalanan ng mundo. Amen.
Walang kasing saya ang Paskong Pinoy. Dumaan man ang problema at pandemya, kayang-kayang lampasan. Basta't nagdadamayan at nagmamahalan. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Tuloy na tuloy pa rin ang Pasko dito sa V81 Radio, South Manila. Ito ang paborito ng bawat Pilipino. Basta all hits o oh, Pinoy panalo. Merong kwentong iyakan at tawanan. Kahit nasaan ka man ito'y mapapakinggan. The views and opinions expressed in the following program are those of the program anchors and producers and do not necessarily reflect the policies and position of this station. Buckle up and get ready, set, and go! Join sports girl anchor Nicole Ganglani as she dives deep into the lives of athletes, fitness personalities, and enthusiasts from the sports industry. Broadcasting live from V81 Radio South Manila, this is Sports Watch, only here on V81 Radio South Manila. Hello mga ka-sports tropa, this is your sports girl anchor Nicole Ganglani welcoming you to our show today where we talk all things sports and fitness. Buckle up, get ready, set, and go! We're here to put the spotlight on different athletes from different sports to hopefully inspire you to be better, not just today, but every day. So our guests today are athletes bringing rise to Philippine Karate. They've represented flag in the global stage and are gradually sewing karate in the country sports fabric. Let's all welcome karate athletes Jamie Lynn, Ivan Agustin, and Alwyn Vatican. Yay! <laughs> hey guys, welcome to the show. Wala pa rin si Sharif. Wala pa rin. So guys, thank you for doing my third show with me. I really appreciate it. So yeah, um, just to run down to give our audience preview, these three athletes have competed in the SEA Games, right? Um, uh, Jamie has competed in last year's uh, uh, SEA Games, and Alwyn has competed in last year's SEA Games, and I- Ivan as well, right? And you guys have also uh, competed. Oh, there's Sher- Sherry. Hello. Hi, uh, morning, good morning, everyone. Morning, everyone. Hello. You're not too late. I was just introducing your team. <laughs> it's all good. All right. Um, actually, I haven't given them the question. I was just introducing them. But since you're late, Sharif, do you want to introduce yourself? <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. So, ayon. So, my name is Sharif Afif, and I'm uh, 27 years old. And I'm bronze medalist of Sea Games, and at um, I'm Olympic hopefuls, hoping na uh, hoping na qualify together with my teammates sila Alvin and Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you for that introduction. Okay, I'd like to ask you guys lang. First question is, how did you guys get into karate? Uh you each can answer. So, uh shall we do ladies first, or shall we do the one that's late? We'll go first. So, if we're, if we're looking at who's late, Sharif, do you want to go first? So, <laughs> since you're late. Uh oh, since late ka. Okay, okay. So, Aling, so, what's the question again? Uh, how did you guys? How did you guys get into karate? Okay, ako. Um, when I was seven years old, I was summer summer class uh, hmm. sa Buanga. Then. Yon, my dad, pinasok niya ako sa taekwondo nung una. 
Then, yung mga brothers ko sa karate. So, ang ending, boring ako mag sa taekwondo, wala akong kasama. So, nag-ship ako into karate. Then, yun na, nagtuloy-tuloy. Summer class yun. Then, you know, when I was seven years old, yun yun. That's great. How about you, Jamie? How did you get into karate? Pretty similar din po. So, ako naman, I was six years old. And then, yung parents yeah. ko, na-enroll po ako in different sports. So, I tried mga basketball, gymnastics, yeah. swimming, iba-iba po. And then, yeah. nag-try po kami ng karate for one summer. Tapos, yung coaches ko po sa AAK in Mega Mall, they told me to continue. Like, don't just do it for summer. Mag-try ka mag-compete. Tapos nag-compete po ako and it turned, parang nagtuloy-tuloy na po until I was really old. So, for my so life, it's, like, yeah. it started with summer class. Yeah, parang the yeah. summer program of my life. Okay. Yes, yes. Was that the same for you both, I, Ivan and Alwin? Yeah, but Alice pareha. Medyo similar. Like, oh, how? Go, 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 ahead. go ahead. Sumasama lang ako sa parents ko sa mall. Para, mm. ano, Kasi yung sister ko nagkakarate. Then, ah, ayun, what mall? Sa Mega Mall din. Yeah. So, nung pinapanood ko po yung sister ko magkarate, nainggit ako kasi five years old pa lang. So, mm. And medyo hyper din ako. So, pinasok na lang din na ako sa karate. Uh, and, yeah. So, is your, is your sister an athlete also? Like, uh, like you, like a competitor nationally? Uh, when nag ano sila nag uh, compete din sila abroad like some national tournaments international tournaments pero um never sila nag pursue uh, ng karate mm, okay what about you Ivan how did you get into karate so nauna yung mga friends ko nung grade school ako then yeah what grade doing school? weekend uh grade six. Uh, ano po what school uh, La Consolacion, Calocan. Ah, okay. Go ahead. And then, uh, tuwing weekend, wala sila eh. Hindi wala akong kalaro. Sumama na lang ako. <laughs> mm. So, so yes. Yeah. So, you guys started karate based on your own interest lang. Like summer camps or through yeah. your friends and family. How about uh, team-wise? When did you guys get together and how did you form a team? Was it a tryout out of how many applicants? Um, every year po, we have the nationals and then we yeah. also, uh, Philippine National Games. Then, yung mga nananalo po doon, yun yung nagiging part ng national team. Ah, okay. Yes. Hmm. So, so, ano yun? so, you guys had to try it. Go ahead, sorry. We have qualifiers, so, so uh, yeah. events come in. And then that's, how did you guys, um, how did they choose you to compete in the tournaments mismo? I think, ano po, you choose, kung gusto mo pong mag-try to be part of the national athlete, to be a national athlete po, you compete in the nationals, and then if you win, parang you have a slot po. Ah, uh, okay. How many are you guys sa team? Or kayo-kayo lang? Uh, for, the, for the Olympic uh, ano kasi, qualifiers, there's only yeah. uh, a number, eh, hindi siya same number of events to with na, no other competitions. So, lumiliit yung pool of players. Yeah. For us, ano kami, um, six lang kami. Trying, six. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry to hear about the Olympics. Like, that was a bummer, I'm sure. But were you guys set to compete in the Olympics or tryouts pa lang? Well, I know. Um, uh, tryouts, uh, qualifying pa lang. Pero lahat kami is looking forward na, na ma- manalo sa qualifying kasi lahat ng mga yeah. qualified na sa Olympics, lahat ng mga qualified na sa oh. Olympics, they are not there allowed to that's, compete. That's They're your photo. I can see Sharif. Uh, Jamie, where are you there? Are you like the one in the right? Bottom right. Oh, bottom. nakaupo. Yeah. yeah and bottom. then, Ivan, where are you? Are yeah. you? Uh, left. 
left. Middle, middle, left, middle left. Middle left, yeah, I see you. And Alwin? Sa pinaka-left na naka-kneel back. Ah, uh, okay. Can we see the next one? There. Oh, that's just you guys. That's after when? That's after... <laughs> That this year lang That was yan. in training lang Before lockdown. Oh, ah, okay. <laughs> Where yeah. did they train? Turn Where? Turn Turkey po. Ah, that, that's in Turkey. Turkey. Istanbul. Oh, wow. Yes, what More, tournament was that? <laughs> that was training I know. camp po. Ah, training camp to Turkey. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and the next photo. There you go. Where's that? Ukraine. Yeah. Ukraine. That was after when? Um, that was right before. Parang dami nangyari dyan, no? Ano nangyari? Ano nangyari dyan? Lahat kami masaya. Oh, why? Did you guys win? Did you guys win? Yeah. Yeah, ano. Yan yung ano. That's our first exposure after the, ano, the Sea Games. So, ah, okay. and then... Almost lahat kami nag-medal. Oh, wow. Oh, speaking of tournaments nga, may I ask, oh, what tournaments did you guys compete in? I'm pretty sure it's been long throughout the years. Let's do 2019, uh, running, running up to the SEA Games. What are some of the major, or you can mention the minor ones too, tournaments you guys compete, competed in? Is it pareho ba kayo lahat or individually mm. iba-iba? Um, Individually, halos, iba. Halos pareho po. Kami. Halos pareho. Yeah, we were ah, okay. together for training, so we joined the same yeah. competition. So, kasi, let's start with, ah, sorry, Alvin, go, go ahead. Kasi, um, yung, ano, yung Olympic qualifiers is to so, ranking. So, you get rankings by ano, joining lots of competitions. Yeah, yung, yeah, that's yung, how it is. Yeah. Coaches namin nag-decide na we won't join those competitions para, I mean, tapos to focus on SEA Games. And then, parang naka-program kami na for selected um, tournaments. Doon kami mag-give ano, emphasis. Ganun. So, yeah. selected lang yung mga sinalian naming tournaments. Hmm. Yes. So, Jamie, we'll go one by one na lang. Jamie, can you run down what some of your... um some of the biggest tournaments you joined uh, last year? Sorry, pa. Sig- um, I'll go back. Oh, sorry, you're back. From, okay. Go ahead. Go from ahead. Games going up. So yeah. we joined two tournaments po in Turkey. Um, mm-hmm. And then, tapos one there I lost and then one I won. So iba iba yeah. And then the previous one also. I what did you win? Tournament. What gold, did you win? Gold. gold. Tapos, Mention na lang the, yeah. Uh, all right. Gold sa second right. tournament ng Turkey. And then the first one, bronze sa team po. And then I joined also a Singapore tournament prior. Yeah. Tapos I got gold sa team and then silver sa individual po. I mm. think yun yung pinaka-notable na international tournament. Yeah. Before yes. The and then you had SEA Games. Yes po. Where, were, where was the tournament held here in Manila? Was it in Clark or... Oh, uh, it was in World Trade, um, World Trade Center. World Trade, yeah. Yeah. How about you, Ivan? What are some of the biggest tournaments you joined last year running up to the SEA Games? Alas pares lang kami ni Ma'am Jamie. Um, sa Turkey, yung silver and then yung isa bronze and gold sa team. And then sa Singapore, yeah. gold and gold. Yeah, par- yung pares lang ng tournament. Mm-hmm. How about you, Alwyn? Uh, similar din ng tournaments joined. Um, naka-gold din sa Singapore, dalawang gold din. Sa Turkey, um, I won a few matches, pero I didn't uh, place. Uh, top yeah. Four. yeah. So, Sharif, now that you're back, I was just asking them, uh, their major tournaments ng 2019, can you share some of yours? Uh, running up to the SEA Games or running up to some of the major tournaments in 2019, what were what was the most notable for you? Um, Southeast Asia Championship. Yeah. Because uh, Southeast Asia uh, Turkey Grand Prix Championship. Um, oh, Turkey Jollibee! Wow. 
So, sa, sa CCAF, um, yun, ang mga naglalaro kasi doon, yun yung mga naglalaro sa SEA Games. Mm. So, um, prepa- so, if I'm preparing for SEA Games, kailangan manalo ako sa CCAF, which is I did yeah. like bronze medal ako doon bago mag CCAF. Pero yung pinaka, pinaka mahirap talaga na tournament para sa akin, yung, like, at saka magandang experience para sa akin yung World Championship, the past the last World Championship and yung Shanghai China kasi I was able to to compete with ano with the world champion so that's okay. ano na lang so natalo ko pero ito si good experience kasi ang dami daming nangarap makatapat ng world champion yeah. then ako nakalabang ko and then we have a good fight then ayun then ngayon ko lang na-realize na oh kahit pala tinalo ako ng mga world champion na yun yung mga nakalabang ko na yun. Ngayon, nakikita ko na tinatalo ko naman yung, yung mga ibang hindi world champion. So, yeah. uh, experience. Like you can compete ano, in their level. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So, now that you guys mentioned the tournaments you competed in, I've got to ask, how is that like in the global stage? Parang, can you walk us through the experience? Siguro each one of you na lang, kasi I'm sure each one of you have your personal experience. Parang, is it, do you guys participate in a team kind of battle or is it more of one versus one? And how's the ambience like uh, playing globally? Siguro, let's start with you na lang, Alwin. Uh, like, uh, like I said kanina, uh, we play with ano, different categories, weight categories. Yeah. yeah. Although we train together as a team, pagdating mm. sa laban, we're alone fighting against yeah. our opponent. So, yung feeling niya is, um, well, ano lang, um, kasi sa akin, ano, everything happens sa practice, eh. like, when it comes to the fight itself, yun na yun eh. Parang onti na lang yung nagbabago. Like, so, na, since nag-prepare na kasi ni, ano, like, I, I mean, sa practice, pinaghandaan naman talaga namin, hindi naman kami nag-petics, hindi naman kami nag sa practice. Yeah. But I think sa laban, it feels like second nature na sa amin yung gano'n. Yes. So, added factor yes. na lang siguro yung pairing, kung sino kalaban mo first, the next bout, yeah. how to adjust, you watch some videos, analytics, gano'n. Yeah. But at the end of the day, every fight is the same. Parang since pag mas sikat lang yung kalaban mo, mas madami kang um pwedeng aralin about him but every fight for me is the same lang yeah al when you mentioned uh the importance of studying your opponents and perfecting your routine sa practice how do you guys do that uh in karate parang do you study your opponents and uh, do you know your opponents na before heading to the world stage or parang tipong surprise siya when you get there that's when you know who your opponents are Two to three days before. Ah, two to three days. So when you find out who your opponents are, Ivan, do you study them or parang do you strategize how your your <coughs> form of attack? Like how is it like in karate? Hindi ko pwede sa being study. Siguro familiar. <laughs> okay. Kasi iba pa rin yung ano eh, ilalabas yeah. na dun malam. Pero siguro familiar sa favorites, yung mga habit yung kalaban yun. Ah uh-uh. ah. Yes. Familiar. How do you do that, uh, Jamie? Do you guys watch videos beforehand, or uh, you just really come up with your own plan and execute it as well as possible in the tournament mismo? I think for some like big tournaments, but for example, Sea Games, we did some reviewing yeah. because more or less we have an idea kung sino po yung mga ka bracket naman kalaban naman. Yeah. So we we watch and then we just familiarize ourselves like what Ivan said po. And then so parang medyo gamay mo na during the tournament and you're not yeah. just missing all throughout. So the Sea Games to Jamie naka gold ka if I'm not mistaken gold. Yeah. Yes. Uh, who sino kalaban mo sa Sea Games? What country? Yung, yung finals po was Indonesia. So I played Indonesia. against Malaysia, Vietnam and Indonesia. Yeah. Tapos yung Indonesia oh. po yung pinakamalakas for me. Um I oh. think. So she has a lot of fights po. Like she yeah. won, she got silver sa Asian Championships before like 2019. 
So mm. a lot of videos were available sa kanya ah, because, yeah, he plays, yeah. because he plays a lot. So you know, yeah. I was able to watch some of her fights. Bro. Yeah, how did you prepare for that? Like parang did you come up then with your own form of attack? Like oh when you get there, this is how you're gonna attack. Um I guess parang see na lang during her fights po, like what she tends to do, um what yeah. she usually does. And then yung coach yes. po namin, like we you know, we discuss it also. Was it a breeze for you, Jamie, during the Sea Games, or was it something na you were really parang super super hard na you were medyo doubting if you'd come out on top? What was oh, your Sea Games experience? It wasn't like? easy at all because I okay. stopped for four years to focus on college. Ah, okay, yeah. I did. And then I just came back five months before Sea Games, so I was really parang nangangapa po. po. Um, I was like not conditioned yet, so yeah. I tried my best to do the crash course in five months. Po. So, oh wow, okay. Parang um long shot, pero kinaya naman po. Yeah. How about you, Sharif? Uh, can you walk us through the feeling of uh your your feelings as a karate athlete before entering a big tournament? Like you had mentioned a while ago, you competed against some of the best of the best. So when you'd compete against them, parang before the tournament meet more, or even during, uh, ano yung parang pakiramdam like before walking in the tournament meet mo? Well, no, sa sa asan karate athlete ang pinaka ang pinaka crucial na inaantay nyo is yung draws, no? Kung sino yung mga kalaban mo. Yeah. Ngayon, so ako nung nakala nung nalaman ko na first bout ko yung world champion ano kung magaling siya ganun. Um, hindi ko siya tinake as ano na parang ang malas ko naman ang galing ng galabang ko. Siguro sabi ko um yun, yun just naman hindi ako bibigyan kung hindi ko ikaka kagaling na ganun. So um may konting ano may konting nervyos kasi kasi syempre big station then mm-hmm. Um, then magaling yung kalaban mo pwede kanyang pwede kanyang um, uh, kainin sa laro yung ganoon na yeah. ano pa ano ba yung ano ba yung pakiramdam dati sabi ko ano kaya yung pakiramdam pag nakakalaban mo yung world champion ganoon mm. ang galing niya so so because of that experience tuloy-tuloy akong nagpo-produce na medal each tournament simula noon uh, yes yeah yes so Uh, you guys were all were all four of you ready or gunning to compete for the Olympics. In the Olympics. Sa Olympic qualifiers. Sa uh, qualifiers uh, uh, palang. Were you four um ready to compete na sa qualifiers? Yes, no. The competitions namin sa Ukraine and Turkey. Those were actually tune-up games for us. Okay. Um, preparation for the Olympic qualifiers. Qualifier. in ano, France. Pero yeah. since it was postponed kasi nga, due to the pandemic, we went home. So ngayon, ni-reboot yung program namin, na yung training program namin. Um, kasi nagpe-peak na kami, nagpe-peaking na kami nung ano eh. Uh-huh. That time, eh. This time, we're, we went back to general ano conditioning. Strength, tapos, yeah. 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 Tapos, uh, hanggang siguro... when we get the supposed schedule for next year, ma-aayos na naman yung program namin. Yes. So, parang there's a set date na na next year babalik kayo or wal- malabo pa rin for now since the pandemic is not really slowing down. Um, what we... Sige, sige. Jamie. I think they're ano, planning to take us to a bubble then soon. Ah, bubble then. Yung mga Olympic yeah. hopefuls. Like like here. And then, siguro, if possible, international, just like what we did last yes. year. Yes. Yeah. Going back so, to... um, ah, Sorry, go, go ahead, Sherry. So, in short, hindi uh, pa kami totally ready ngayon kasi yung yeah. katawan namin, ready kami. Uh, yung LSA namin, coaches namin, hindi kami, never kami pinabayaan. Yung, lagi kami, lagi silang, lagi kami binibigyan ng program, araw-araw yung training. Ang kulang lang talaga namin ngayon is yung sparring partners. Yeah, yung talaga, for sure. Uh, yeah, for mm-hmm. sure. Yes. So, how do you guys 
train at home right now. I'm assuming you guys are quarantined, right? Parang you can't really train train as more as a group muna. So how are you guys like just staying ready, staying through the course? Uh, maybe you can uh, pitch in on that, Ivan. Um, mas mas pa- para sa akin okay siya sa conditioning kasi I can um, rest well. Siyempre yeah. parang lahat, handa, familiar ka sa, sa bahay, gano'n, hindi palipat-lipat. Yeah. Tapos, um, yeah, you, uh, pwede kang magbuhat anytime, gano'n. So, yeah. uh, convenient siya sa strength and condition. Ayun. How about you, Alwyn? Uh, how, what's your training routine like? Um, Is it sa- different every day or parang same-same naman siya? Uh, For us kasi merong ano, binibigay sa amin program yung uh, team namin, yung coaches. Na, yeah. Um, meron siyang app, then nakalist dun yung hmm. ano, exercises you have to do. So, very easy siya. You'll just have to follow it. Then, tapos meron din naman kaming every other day, meron kaming virtual classes wherein yeah. we train in Zoom. Then, For me, pag may extra time, siguro nag extra work. And pero actually, you don't have to really think about it anymore. Kasi binibigay na lahat ng coaches. You just have to do yes. it. Yes. Yeah. I think what's remarkable about you guys is that how uh, how often you represent the country in the global stage. Like to go to countries like you, you guys mentioned Turkey, Ukraine, France. You're about to go there. It's really notable, parang how you represent the Philippines. I'm gonna ask Jamie. Uh, how does it feel like to represent the country in the karate global stage? Like, how does that make you feel? You're doing that at such a young age. Oh, it feels great, po. I mean, siguro yung favorite moment ko po ever, like competing with hmm. the Sea Games, the opening sea game. Seven. Like, even though was that I- your first? Yeah, it was my first ball. So ah, even okay. though nagko-compete kami abroad, um iba pa rin yeah. po yung competing in an international tournament in the Philippines because parang yeah. Filipinos are there to support you. So yung opening ceremonies parang umiiyak po ako because of the support. Parang I was very overwhelmed. And yeah. um na play po yung national anthem nung nanalo po ako sa awarding. So I felt oh, yeah. really great because it feels um iba po talaga eh, when you get to represent the country because we yeah. I think all four of us we really love like yung country namin and we love representing it yeah. more and we're proud to yes. do that well. How about you naman Sharif? Uh you had mentioned na you did represent the country and the top is form, diba? Uh what was that experience like for you just you know um wearing the colors of the flag well to be you know, to be part of the world championship at makapaglaro uh, doon wearing the flag, the flag of the philippines syempre um isa yun sa isa yun sa pinaka una naming iniisip eh na, na we are doing this we are doing this we are fighting not for ourselves eh so yeah. because of the, so laging laging kung ano yung magiging per- per- performance namin lagi na laging laging para sa mga Filipinos na nandito mga kababayan so lagi mong iniisip na kailangan manalo kailangan galingan mo kasi kung ano yung performance mo ganun lang tingin nila sa bansa mo ganun yeah. so 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 yun yeah. I, i think on i think the the four of us no uh, we are here not for ano not for fame No, we are here for ano, we are here to help the, well, the country sa ganitong paraan sa pagkakarate. I think ito yung, yung kaya namin ano. And hoping soon na mag-qualify kaming kami and and next time interview niyo kami kung paano namin i-share yung blessing na oh, yeah. wala. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh this question I'd like to throw to all of you. Uh, you guys had different journeys to karate, syempre. But what are siguro the top three values or lessons even that you guys learned in your karate career so far? Uh, I'll start with you, Ivan. What are the top three values? lessons, siguro? Yeah, values or um, just any lessons lang. Yeah, nag, nag, ano, nag-start siya sa martial arts, so primary discipline. 
Yeah, that's the in yung pinakauna. Primary discipline. And um so sa competition naman, yeah. no belty. Parang anong edge mo sa kalaban, ano yung paano ka mananalo. So you're you're finding ways, new ways. And then yung pangatlo, siguro obedience, yung pagsunod, syempre. Um, may coaches, may hierarchy ng ano, ng um mm-hmm. ng may coach, mayroong seniors, mayroong mas mababa sa iyo. So, alamin mo yung, yung status yeah. doon sa How about you, Alwyn? Uh besides I what I've said, what are some what are the biggest what's the biggest lesson or even lessons you learned throughout your life as an athlete? Sa akin, ano, not, uh, pwede na rin as an athlete, pero more on karate. Um, sa akin talaga, ang pinaka-lesson sa akin is consistency. Like, kasi consistency. I think I've been since five years old. Tapos, parang, ano, nag, I, I had some time na I went into hiatus. Parang nag-stop yeah. for a year or two. Tapos, yeah. uh, my longest ata was four years. Tapos, every time I came back, parang kasi before I stopped, yung feeling ko is parang all-time high na I, I'm unbeatable, ganyan. Yeah. Tapos, every time I come back, I lose. Tapos, uh, it takes a while for me to to regain my skills, like how to how to win again. So, sa akin, big importance yung consistency. Like, um, siguro in everything you do, para magka- makakuha ka din ng consistent results. So, yun nga consistency lang talaga in what you do. Yes. Consistent na ano ha, good work, hindi consistent na relax. Mediocre, yeah. So, more on like uh, getting better every single day, ganon. As Kobe said, your idol. <laughs> How about you naman, uh, Jamie? What, uh, what are the, what's the biggest lesson or lesson you've learned? Siguro, it's also um being, I think I'm very great for all the help that I got like to get there yeah like, siguro to focus on yung sea games um good um I, I didn't do it alone as in first sort mm. coaches of karate Filipinas like I had to believe in their process for me to be able to yeah um achieve that and also my teammates as in silang tatlo po, they were helping me so much throughout yeah. because I was having a hard time after stopping for four years po. yeah so I needed for sure that, yeah I needed that encouragement that help po during training so yeah. like with the three of them they were really helping me out and i needed that help and then also your family because it was difficult like the training was hard so every time every time i went home po, i needed the love and support ng family so i was i'm grateful for that po. now all together that helped me get to where i am yes how about you sherry what's your i know uh biggest lesson or lesson in your uh karate journey um, yung pinaka-lesson talaga na natutunan ko is uh, love your teammates. Okay, um, yeah. Tapos, uh, kasi, um, kasi dati, uh, hindi, parang tawag dyan, dati hindi ako masyadong, hindi ko masyadong iniisip yung teammates ko kasi nakafocus ako dun sa sarili kong goal. So parang ngayon, sabi ko, parang may kulang talaga dun sa hindi ko na, lagi akong bronze, hindi ko na achieve yung goal. So parang feeling ko, I need to, to ano, yung, lalong yung kaming apat na parang, uh, parang magmahalan kami as well, tapos, tapos magtulungan kami, you know, na walang bad vibes. So parang, yeah. parang yun, yun ang pinaka-lesson na tutunan ko na, na kailangan ganun yung mag-hatter ko. So, Kasi ano ako eh, parang masyado akong, uh, I'm, 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 I'm an emotional person, gano'n. Yeah. Tapos, um, yun, isa pa yun, kailangan ko siyang kontrolin. Um, yun talaga. Kasi yung technique naman, and, ano, kaya naman talaga siya. Madali siyang itrain eh. Diba? Pero, yung character mo as a person, as an athlete, I think, ano, dapat siyang ma-improve at malinaw sa'yo. Yeah. Uh, Jamie and Alwyn, you both had mentioned na parang nag-halt yung 
yung training nyo? Mm-hmm. Is it just you guys or Ivan and Sheriff? Did you experience almost the same thing? Where nag-stop yung, nag-stop kayo? Or tuloy-tuloy kayo? Tuloy naging national team ako when I was 16 years old pa. I'm the first, yeah. ano, I'm the first junior national team of karate. Tapos, um, nag-stop din ako. Actually, this is my this is my third time. This is my third time as a national team. The first time is with the Philippine Karate Federation, NSA. Um, so, I also competed with them, like, abroad. So, then, nag-stop ako, nagtuloy ako ng pag-aaral, then, then, you know. So, like Jamie, kakabalik ko pa lang. So, mga pang three years ko pa lang talaga siya ngayon. Um, so, ayun. Ma- yeah. ma- sabi nila, mahirap bumalik. Mahirap mong ibalik yung kung huminto ka. Well, I think sa akin, hindi. Kung nagsimula ka, bata, kung simula nung, nung mga edad na yeah. simula. Para lang kami, huminto ka nga saglit, pero yung love mo dun sa karate ay nandun pa rin, madali lang, para ka lang, ano, para ka lang tutig na kailangan pakuluan, yung yeah. pakuluan na yun, i-train, asahin, and then well, just be, ano lang, be patient lang kasi, hindi mo makukuha agad yung gusto mo. Yeah. Kung kakabalik mo lang, kung matatalo ka, kailangan tanggapin mo yun at handa ka dahil wala naman na nanalo na walang pinagdadaan ng uh, stage ng mahirap, di ba? So, um, yeah. Yes. Great metaphor. <laughs> How about uh, Jamie and Alwyn? Uh, what pushed you to get back to the sport? Um, sa akin kasi ever since parang I've always wanted to compete karate. So, I, I've been, nung bata pa ako, I've been competing internationally. Pero representing my club, not uh, yeah. not the Philippines. Although I'm Filipino. So, yun. Nung wala pa kasi ako masyadong time, I, not time, uh, walang opportunity to join the national team kasi I was representing my school in ano, karate competitions and then magkakaroon ng conflict. So, nung wala na akong, uh, kasi in college, we didn't have a karate team. So, I I uh, I focused first on school, nag-stop ako. Tapos nung nagka-time na nagkaroon ng opportunity na Philippines will be hosting the SEA Games, uh, I tried going back uh, to karate. So, yeah. And then also, kasi in, it was announced uh, that Karate will be on the Olympics. Uh, yeah. Debut, di ba? So, it, ano siya, wish, wishful thinking, pero doon naman nagsisimula yun talaga eh, sa... Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. So. Dreaming big. Yeah. How about yes. you, Jamie? Uh, what pushed you to get back to the team? You said kanina na you took a break for four years no, to focus on academics. Uh, what pushed you to uh, compete again? It's actually the same with Alvin po. So when I was young, yeah. I was never part of the national team yet. So just our club po, yung na represent namin. But we've always wanted to represent our country and be part of the national team. And then we saw that it was a great opportunity, like no 2019, because SEA Games was in the Philippines and first time nga na Olympics as part, ah, uh, karate as part of the Olympics. So we just grabbed that opportunity and said, why not? Because parang, yeah. ako, I was done na. I graduated na po. So my time na, like, Instead of going ahead with my original plan of doing masters again, I said, okay, break muna and then karate first because I think it's yeah. the perfect time. Yes. Yeah, I think what makes your sport special is that you pick up values. Uh, aside from representing the flag among other things globally, you pick up values like what you guys mentioned, discipline, nobility, the importance of being prepared consistency, gratitude, uh, leaning on your friends and family, love for teammates, dreaming big, and the importance of patience. I think that's, that's what helps you guys know, not just in your career or life as an athlete, but also how you transform that in your everyday life as well. So that's the best part about sports. Okay, we'll hear more from our karate athletes, but let's first take a break. We'll be back shortly. This is Sports Watch over here on 381 Radio, South Manila. 
Connected ka na ba? Para laging updated sa mga bagong shows, promos, trending news, viral videos, events, o patok na OPM hits, just follow us on Facebook at V81 Radio South Manila. Simple lang, itype lang ang letter V81 Radio South Manila. O di ba madali lang? Kaya ilike at follow na! Are you ready to explore a new kind of music? Yung bang kakaiba na hindi mo pa napapakinggan, mga bagong artist? Nagugulat sa inyo sa kanilang awit at tugtugan. Discover them, hear them in Napalm Hour. Ang Napalm ay ang new all Pinoy alternative music source na para sa kakaibang musika. Alternative artists and bands all the time. Catch them at Napalm Hour. Mondays through Fridays, 12 noon to 1 p.m. and 8 to 9 p.m. Streaming live on V81 Radio mobile app. Kaya i-download mo na for free. Now na! A spirit-filled song that talks about healing from the Lord Jesus Christ, our great healer. Nasasaktan Kumikirot ang aking puso Hilumin mo awit ng kagalingan at pagsamba by Felsen Hilumin mo ang sukat ng aking puso Digitally available everywhere and here on V81 Radio Ikot paturo po dahil ang ngayon at ang buka Gusto mo ba ng bagong tracks na mapapakinggan ngayong October? Pwede ba ang mapakinlan? Is that a better left? Kasa mo mo ito Ipan sabi mo Hindi mo ko iiwan at tumutok lang tuwing Sunday, 1pm Dito sa Napalm Your new all Pinoy alternative music source At mag-i-jam Kasama sina Ram Martinez Isotone at CD and the Year. Ito lang yan sa NAPAM, your new all Pinoy alternative music source. Exclusively on Z81 Radio, South Manila. Now back to Sports Watch, only here on Z81 Radio, South Manila. Okay, we're back here at Sports Watch. Let's welcome back our karate athletes. Hi again, guys. Hi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, before, Anina, we talked about your how you're representing the Philippines in the global stage. No. Now I'd like to ask: Before all of this happened, before you guys got the represented represent flag, which I know was probably your dream once upon a time, what were your first goals in terms? Uh, for your karate career like what was when you guys started did you ever dream about representing flag Sa akin, let's ano, start along with you jamie see, oh, okay um when i was young yun nga, to be part of the national team because i was always just representing my club and i'd yeah. see like, it's international tournaments may iba, uh, when the so um yun po i just was focusing on the small goals first, like na- get into the national team and then eventually SEA Games and then eventually Olympics po. Yeah. yeah. How about you, Alwyn? Sa akin, when I started talaga karate, syempre, what you see in the movies, you wanted to attain that ano, black belt. Yeah. Yes, for oh. sure, yeah. What are the belts again? Uh, can we just run through, like... It's- it depends kasi in your organization okay. eh. pero ah, okay. pero it's 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 like this na lang a metaphor parang it's it gets darker while you get more wiser ganun. oh there you go sheriff hello welcome back uh i was just asking them what were their personal goals before like being able to qualify in the olympics uh, Alwyn had mentioned that he was attaining the black belt. How about you, uh, Ivan? What was your personal goal before being able to put? Yeah, when you were young. Bata ko, pisa talaga, ano, ambitious, world champion. Ah, okay. 
So, dream big and yeah. Mm, sayang yung dream eh, kung maliit lang. Yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> How about you, Sharif? What were your goals when you were young, when you were starting your karate career? Um, ano, uh, first of all, gusto kong maging part ng national team. Yun lang, uh, halos sa library namin sa school, dapat nag-aaral ako, pero ginagawa ko sa computer, sinesearch ko yung mga picture ng mga national athlete, nitinan ko ng karate. Yeah. Sabi ko, oh, sana maging ganito ako balang araw. Then, hmm. yun, siyempre, to be, at, ano, to be a world champion. Yun, yun. I'm not, I'm not, No, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this if in ayaw kong maging world champion. Yun ang goal ko. So, andito ako ngayon to be para maging world champion. Hindi para lang maging SEA Games gold medalist or ano. Yes. So, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. I'm sure that's the highest. Yeah. And with the help of this, ano, with the help, with the help of the NSA, yung Karate Pilipinas, so yes. parang so, nakatat, nakatatlong federation na ako eh. Pero I can say na Karate Pilipinas is the best eh kasi uh, isipin mong umabot kami sa ganitong level na na hindi 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 nila hindi nila pinagkakait sa amin kung anong anong dapat at kung anong paraan para maging world champion kami. So sinusuportahan nila kami. So it's not possible it's not, it's not impossible na na maging, may maging world champion sa amin. Paunahan nila kami. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, how about as a team naman? Uh, you guys train regularly or at least used to see each other on a regular basis before your big tournaments or consistently. Uh, do you guys have goals as a team besides your personal dreams of like, like what most of you mentioned, attaining the world championship? How about as a team naman? Uh, what are your specific short and long-term goals? I think since ano, individual sport nga po, or at least yung categories na sasalihan po namin, I think we just yeah. wish na we're all there together when we win it po. As in, sabay-sabay po kami magkakakwalify, tapos sabay-sabay rin po kami mag-Olympics. I think it's just winning together. Yun po yung one of those. Yeah. Also, as a team, gusto namin talaga a uh, good um, uh, medal finish for everyone. Yes. Yeah. When we get home, not only the not only will you get more support, pero those who didn't get to participate, parang pag nag-training kayo together with them, they get the feeling na, uy, kaya ko palang sumabay kasi siya nga nanalo sa ganito. Ganyan. So, yeah overall na naangat mo yung buong team like kunya kasi sa amin uh, among the four of us si Sheriff lang yung nakalaro sa world championships oh wow yeah pagbalik niya sa amin syempre parang nakita namin grabe close fight lang sila nung world champion tapos mm. pag nakasabay tayo kay Sheriff ibig sabihin papalag talaga tayo sa yeah. standards so ganun siya as a team you want everyone to perform well para yeah. when you come back to training na na uplift me boom team yeah yes Ivan do you want to finish into that oh kaya, go go ahead so pasinit lang ha kaya din si sila sabi ko na feeling ko kailangan magmahalan kami mga multi teammates kasi yeah. kasi kware kaming kaming apat nasa Turkey na ti training sana wag wag isipin ng iba na pang, pang sarili lang namin yon Kasi we're doing this actually for the team and for the country. So, yeah. diba? Ganun yun. So, I think, I, I think dapat maging malinaw yun sa mga kahit hindi namin ibang athletes na sa lahat yeah. ng sports. Kasi pag, kaya pag nagtulungan kayo, mas madali nyo ma-achieve yung goal. Yes. How about naman, uh, Sharif, uh, advice to athletes who are competing solo? Like, there are sports then na they're not in a team. Like, those uh, growing as their own athletes representing the country by themselves. What advice would you give to them if wala silang team, for example? I think uh, don't do so, but uh, I mean, I mean, as long as you, as long as you, as long as you, as long as you're doing what you like, uh, what you love, yeah. and then continue, and then, and then, 
as long as you're happy and then continue and then one one day one day one day ma realize mo na na ma realize yes no worth it yung worth it yung paghihirap mo paghihintay mo wag ka lang talagang ma, mawalan ng uh, wag ka lang talaga mawalan ng patience na yeah. oh well what well, sabi ko walang madaling nakukuha So, hindi lahat katulad ni Jamie Lynn, ni Jamie nakakabalik lang nag gold ka agad. So, may ganun eh, may ganun, may ganun tao, may ganun tao talaga. So, wow, may ganun. Yeah. So, yun lang. Yeah. So, kung tuloy-tuloy lang, tapos kung maganda naman yung kung maganda naman yung intention mo, kung bakit mo gustong mag gold, maganda 'yon. Ina- yun, Napaka-importante 'yon. Kasi, yeah. Kung gusto mo lang mag gold para lang sa sarili mo, I think walang silbi yung medal mo. Yes. Para sa akin. So yung medal na yun, maliit na, ma- yung medal na yun, isang maliit na bilog lang yun eh. Pero ang laman ng medal na yun, yun yung mahalaga. Kung para kanina yun, yun di ba? So I think, as an athlete, kailangan malinaw, malinaw, malinaw sa atin na kung ano at kung bakit tayo lumalaban. Yun. Yeah. Ivan, While we're at the team topic, let's go Santi here. What do you love so much about your team? Love ko sa team ko. Uh, kompleto. May... <laughs> Ayan, iyak na sila. Iba, <laughs> iba. May, ano, may magaling mag-analyze ng, ng laban. Merong yeah. nagpapatawa. Merong... Uh, kompleto. Parang siyang pamilya. In short, pamilya. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Besides Inanin karate, tatay, naman, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Mm, yeah. Go ahead. My tatay, my kapatid. So mm. you had mentioned that you guys are very versatile. Each one of you plays your role. So Ivan, what's your role as a team? Role as a team? Athlete. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Like, what? What are you? Like, you had mentioned someone does the analytics. Someone is the quote unquote tata, and someone is the like the one that makes your teammates laugh. What are you like? What in what mm-hmm. aspect do you contribute? Hmm. Uh, ako kasi yung junior dito. Eh, like, ano? Mm. Like, ako yung mas bata. Ganon. Ako yung mas batang kapatid ah, okay. sa kali. Mm. Yeah, how old are you guys? Uh, Jamie, how old are you? How young, Rad? Uh, Sharif, you're? 27. 27. And Alwyn? 23. Ivan? 21. Oh, so pretty young, pretty young. Yeah. Uh, let's go person personally naman. Outside of karate, what are you guys into? I'll start with Sharif because I heard a rumor that you're a celebrity. <laughs> You know? <laughs> Rumor has it. Ayan <laughs> So, can you share your gig Wala bang pasample ng acting dyan? <laughs> yeah, give us a sample. <laughs> MMK! MMK! Ang bago can't be moved. Uh, you know, uh, kumima ako ng contract with uh, GMA, GMA Network. Yeah. Um, gumawa ako ng, ng ilang teleserye, tapos ilang movie. But kaya nga sa mga nagtatanong sa akin sa interview, ganyan din. Kamusta yung showbiz, ano, career, gano'n. Well, hindi ako nakafocus sa kanya ngayon kasi um, pagiging, again, so pagpasok ko sa pagiging artista, hindi for fame eh. Um, magiging isang ano lang, isang character actor na ang pagiging, ang pagiging artist na naman kahit ilang taong ka na, basta, basta may role na babagay sa iyo at magagampanan mo, madali lang. Pero yung pagiging, itong ganitong opportunity as an athlete now, yung, yung may chance kang maging Olympian, rare lang yun. So, so yeah. kah- kailangan mong pagpapilin yun. So, yung showbiz How about naman, you? Sorry. Andyan yeah. lang. Andyan lang. <laughs> Ganun Pero naman lang. Pero ano, naroon akong bagong indoor commercial, Mountain Dew. <laughs> ah, talaga? Wow, that's nice. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so, when you get... Na-release na ba yung commercial? 
Ah, uh, wala pa pero i ano siya eh, worldwide uh, Middle East yung iba. Oh wow. Uh, Okay, so pag may clip ka sa YouTube, ilink mo sa comment section ng stream na to, ha, sa Facebook so that our viewers can see. Ilink ko, ha? <laughs> How about you naman, Jamie? Uh, what do you like to do outside uh, karate? You had mentioned kanina na you had plans on taking masters. Is that still uh, something you want to pursue? Yes, po. that will come after. So initially, after graduating in math, I was supposed to take master's in data science. So yeah. since I'm not focused on this now, like si Sharif, um, I'll give this time for yung karate life. Ko po. Mm. And then when I finish, or soon after, po, I'll do the master's and continue. Yeah. Sorry, what master's, what course do you want to pursue? Data science. Data science. Yeah. Yes. How about you, naman, Ivan? If Sharif is into acting and showbiz and Jamie wants to pursue uh, data science, how about you, Ivan? Is there something you yeah. have outside? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ano lang? Oh, really? Can you give um, a sample? Um, okay. hmm? We win as one. We win as one. Sports watch ko. Eh. Wala namang and... music watch dito. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> Kantahin mo yung Sea Games Anthem. Sea <laughs> Games Anthem? Hindi ko kami. <laughs> so, what do you have outside? So, bukod sa, ano, bukod sa music, ano lang, um, aral and music. Pag, kasi, after training, parang maiba lang ganun. So, pahinga. Pahinga yung music. Um, do you play yeah. instruments? Or uh, any, like, do you go to voice lessons or anything to pursue yeah, that? Guitar. Or that's just some... Guitar? Ah, you do get it. Walang, walang voice. Walang yeah. voice less. Guitar lang. So, and then, what are some songs you can play to guitar? Um, now, nag-aaral ako ng 90s eh. Like mga Ariel Rivera. Yun yung, yung, yung trip ah, ko wow. ngayon eh. <laughs> Ayun. Yes. Okay, so we have one celebrity. We have one uh, someone who wants to pursue data science eventually. And one singer how about you alwin uh what's your what's your gigs outside karate so mm, i try a lot of other sports it's like um, oh wow nice i mean hindi naman competitively kasi bawal naman yun kasi baka ma-injure or something pero um now i've been uh, trying uh yung mer kasi sa stationary bike and then you join online. Zwift siya, yung tawag. And then you can mm-hmm. bike with other people online. Yun, yun try it for now. During the pandemic. Since, ano, um, hindi rin ako makakommit, makakommit back to school kasi yeah. in Italy now, baka biglang magpa, ano kami, uh, boot camp na training again. So, yeah. as mm-hmm. now, just anything to stay in shape and then keep yeah. it, you know, yeah, Alwin, what do you do to stay in shape? Uh, besides the um, uh, regular program they give and then the karate trainings they give, um, sa bahay, sa konto kasi ako natin, so malit ng new space, so more on skip rope and then more on uh, skip rope, yeah. That's seen a rise, no? That's, that's been like super popular in the pandemic, skip rope. That's cool. Yeah. Parang nga, ay nakakuha ko ng jump rope sa quarantine. I've been trying and I still can't get the text. <laughs> so, um, rope flow. Rope flow? Easier than jump rope. Yes. Sige, I'll try it. <laughs> uh, besides um your personal stuff naman, I'd like to tap into the state or the status of Philippine Karate in the Philippines. Welcome back again, Sharif. <laughs> uh, I'd like to tap on to the status of Philippine Karate. Uh, Siguro, Sharif, you can touch on this since you've competed in the world tournament. Uh, what do you think, uh, how's the status like of Philippine Karate right now? Do you think it's like super popular na in the country or it's it needs to grow pa or it has grown in the past two years? Uh, because, because of this NSA, 
karate Pilipinas. Yeah. Yung, yung karate sa Pilipinas, uh, the grow. And I think we should not stop growing until, mm. ano, diba, hanggang sa makita ng, makita ng, malaman ng mamamayan na ang karate ay isang discipline sport na na yeah. which anak na pwede na pwede na pwede rin nilang um, maging career sa buhay nila na pwede silang kumita pwede ng ikabubuhay ng family nila um, same like same like my other batchmates from Zamboanga sila Hayden and Diaz sila yeah. Jimmy Marshall yan mga yan um, wala dati ano lang yan eh dati naglalaro lang kami ng mga patang pinoy together tapos ayun nakita ko sila na Olympian na ngayon, so, so um, hoping na maging ka-level ko sila. And I think that's not impossible naman. Uh, yeah, for sure. How about you, um, Ivan? Can you tap into um, like how the sabi nga ni Sheriff is... yung, ano, sabi nga ni Sheriff yung NSA nga namin, very good yung ginagawa ang progress. Like, we go other country, sobrang daming napuntahan yeah. just a single year. I mean, bago pa lang yung federation, ang dami nang nagawa. Tapos yung coaches, um, scientific kung ano, kung gumalaw. Tapos yung mga player, ang daming na ahi kahit yung mga player sumali. Kasi nga, syempre, may, may, ano, may patutunguhan, may, may vision yung, yung federation. So, yeah. Da, kung dati, parang, ay, Philippines, ganun lang. Ngayon, yeah. Philippines. Gets mo? Oh, Kasi awesome. sa tournament, yeah. di ba, na- an- nakikita mo yung mga country. Yeah. So, ito na ngayon yun. Yeah. Oh, Ivan, Pero, what are the... Uh, Sorry, go ahead. No, no, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I just want to sing it, yung, ano, yung nag-chat na gold medal kami sa Turkey Grand Prix, no? Yung yeah. team namin. Gra- uh, ano yun, parang... Um, best of the best din yun sa daming bansa na parang nagulat sila na na grabe ah hindi namin inexpect na ganun yung Philippines isipin mo da, ang lalaki ng mga nakalaban namin kami na gold so parang even yung coach namin yung na yung uh, Turkish coach namin si Sensei Okay Arpa umakyat na siya nun sa hotel niya sa taas habang kasi hindi siya nag-expect na magko-gold kami doon. Hanggang yeah. sa, na, nagulat siya mag-gold, bumaba siya agad, sabi niya. So, mm-hmm. mas kinanahan siya magtrabaho, magturo sa amin. Kasi tayo naman talaga, kasi mga Filipino, hindi tayo madaling sumuko. So, yeah. ano niya yun. Yes. Thank you for that. Uh, Jamie and Alwyn, I'll throw this question to you both. What, how do you envision the future of karate in the Philippines is like? Uh, do you think it still has more room to grow? Or what are you athletes doing parang to bring rise to that? Siguro we can start with you, Jamie. Um, I think, first of all, yung ano, Olympic, this Olympic opportunity. Um, I think it's big po for karate. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. For, not, not That's the first the time, no? Karate yeah, is in the Olympic. Po, wow. Time. Yeah, yeah. Because usually it's more known at the Taekwondo, like it's more known, especially in the Philippines. Yeah. But now na like we're there too, um, it gives a better um impression or parang mas kilala na po siya. So I'm I'm just hoping that parang young kids will be more inspired to go into karate and yeah. try it out as well. Because lahat po kami super grateful for being um exposed to karate. Like it's a big part of our lives and we learn yeah. so much. So sana lang a lot of kids would want to try it also. How about you, Alwyn? Uh, how do you envision the future future of karate like? Sa akin, um, with the uh, ano, with the things, with how the things are going now, very very bright in future. Like um, when it comes to the Olympics, parang makakaroon ng representation for karate that we Filipinos can win. Because as of now, parang ano lang siya eh, by by I, by logic mo lang siya titingnan that we can win in karate kasi yun nga Filipinos relatively yeah. mas maliliit di ba eh, and mm. eh, karate it's a weight weight category yeah. competition so similar sa mga ano ba yung mga successful finish na ng Philippines yung 
boxing and yeah. then, which is also basketball even sometimes yeah since it's so popular yeah <laughs> Ano, sa weightlifting, di ba? Yeah. Event din siya. So, yeah. may, may nakikita kang trend eh, kung saan pwede mag-sell yung mga Pilipino. So, For sure. Yeah. Maganda kung ano yun, pangitain na pag may isang, pag may isang nanalo, kahit isa lang, makikita ng mga Pilipino na malaki yung opportunity mm-hmm. sa karate. And then, with how the organization is doing now, ve- kasi ang karate also, very traditional yan eh. Pero, when you incorporate science with it, parang when the, the instructors are more open to employing science into the ano, traditional aspect of karate, very, ano, mag- very progressive yung manyanyari yung uh, results. So sa akin, yun yung ginagawa nila ngayon. So parang sa akin, very bright talaga yung future ng karate. For the That's awesome to hear. Yeah. Uh, I noticed kanina when I asked you guys the biggest lessons you've learned in your karate career thus far, you guys had mentioned um a lot of values, but parang may nag-stand out sa akin na discipline and consistency, preparedness. Uh, how do you guys constantly stick with your sport even when times get tough? Like, um, you guys had challenges naman. I'm pretty sure every athlete experiences their challenges, di ba? Uh, this is for anyone who wants to answer. How do you guys constantly stick to karate? Especially now during unprecedented times when we're not so sure pa rin when Olympic, the Olympics will resume or the Olympic qualifiers. So, yun, how do you guys stick to the sport? Uh, sigo, ako, I'll answer. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Kasi sa amin, we started at a very young age. Eh. So, yeah. olip- wala pang Olympics, nagkakarate na kami. So, mm. kahit may tournament or wala, nagkakarate kami. So, for us, karate has been a way of life. I mean, not yeah. necessarily na we're punching and kicking every day, pero in our daily yeah. aspects of our lives, we've been employing karate, ano, uh, karate our karate. So, sa akin, kahit... Um, during this pandemic times, parang tuloy-tuloy pa rin yung karate sa buhay. So kasi it's, it's been a way of life no, for us. We've been doing it more than half of our lives. So um, parang what's the point of stopping, di ba? Parang when you yeah. have it, I think your goal. Yeah. How about you, Ivan? Since you're the youngest uh, group, this group, uh, how do you constantly like stick it to your mind that this is something you want to pursue in the long run? Sorry, Sino. Ivan, Ivan. <laughs> How do you keep yourself motivated? Ah, sorry, I'm lagging because. No problem, no problem. How do you keep yourself motivated uh, to keep? Pre- unang una, malaking tulong yung team. Tapos may coaches, may teammate. Tapos yung pinakamahalaga is yung goal. So pag, pag may goal, kahit anong mangyari, despite or may harang or may mahirap, kung goal, delivery yung delivery yung gusto mong marating. So kahit ano pa mang hirap or challenges, tuloy-tuloy pa rin. Basta may goal. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to radiate lang like what Ivan said, the importance of having goals. That's really something um, that you can learn and grow from in sports and even outside your life. That's something that when you really keep a goal in mind, it's really what helps you develop as a person, both in and outside the karate field and life in general. Okay, we'll take a break and we'll be back with our karate athletes. We'll be back shortly. It's a sports watch only here on V81 Radio, South Manila. Gusto niyo ba ng bagong tracks na mapapakinggan ngayong October? Pwede ba? Mapakilala Is that a better left? Kasi mo 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 Abangan at tumutok lang tuwing Sunday, 1 p.m. Dito sa Napalm, your new all-pinoy alternative music source. At makijam, kasama sina Ram Martinez, Isotone, 
at CD and the Year. Ito lang yan sa NAPAM, your new all Pinoy alternative music source. Exclusively on V81 Radio, South Manila. Talagang October to remember! Dahil hindi din po huli ang ibang Viva OPM artists na sasabak sa kantahan sa Home Not Alone Songs From Home Season 2 kasama si Papa Gio, Yumi Laksamana, Isis, Solstice, Just Rap, and Sabu. Kaya iset nyo na ang mga kalendaryo nyo tuwing Merkulis 7pm California Time o Huwebes 10am Pinas Time. At samahan si Papa Gio para makipagkulitan, awanan at kantahan sa Home Not Alone Songs From Home Season 2. Dito yan! sa V81 Radio, Los Angeles. Now back to Sports Watch, all here on V81 Radio, South Manila. Okay, we're back here at Sports Watch. Let's bring back our karate athletes. There we are. Oh, kayong dalawa na lang. Ah, <laughs> Wala si Shari. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Okay, sayang. So this is the there there he is. Okay, wow. this is the most challenging part of the segment. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's called rapid fire. So I'm gonna throw out some questions, and anyone can answer as fast as possible. Are you guys ready? Okay. Okay. Ready? <laughs> okay. Good. Who's always late on the team? <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. Pero bawal po kami maging late. So when it's training, wala naman po. Yeah. Pero parang <laughs> uh, kasalanan ng traffic eh. Traffic, traffic. Why? Where did you go? Okay, next question. Who is the always, kung may late, syempre my earliest, my earliest, di ba? Who's always the early first one in the gym or in the training si room? Si Mama Aya, yun eh. And Jola Saten. Ah, your coach. Hindi. No. Uh, I've seen you. Ah. Pinaka eldest. Ah. The yung matanda sa team namin. Shout out to your earliest teammate. I hope she's watching. <laughs> okay, game. Who is the most competitive? Lahat, lahat kami. Yeah, feeling ko all of us will say ourselves. <laughs> okay. That's not bad. That's a good <laughs> thing. That's a good thing. Um, who is the most outgoing? Um, depends the situation. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> or like, okay. Outgoing is like, siguro yung gusto pang lumabas after training. Not me. <laughs> mm. Para hindi ka na makakalipas si Pin. after training. Si Pinch yun. Pagpahinga ka nila. Si Pinch. Tulog. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. One word to describe your team. Perfect. So, <laughs> wow. <laughs> perfect timing. So, uh, Alwin, you say perfect. What's your, Sharif? Perfect. Perfect. Ah, perfect. Ah, perfect. Perfect. And yours, Jamie? I said solid. Solid. And what's yours, Ivan? Ivan. Best. <laughs> Best. 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 Okay. Next question. Um, favorite country you guys competed so far? I'm pretty sure each of you have your answers. So, uh, let's start Turkey. with you, Alvin. Ah, who said Turkey? Sorry. <laughs> Ivan. Turkey. Turkey si Ivan. How about you, Jamie? Favorite country you've competed so far? Maybe Ukraine because ang saya po. It was really cold. May snow. <laughs> so, ah, talaga? Yeah. Is that the farthest you've been to? Um, Chile. I've been to Chile po. I think that's what's farthest. Nice. Yeah. But How about I you, Alvin? My so. favorite country, Philippines. Yeah. Philippines. And... Wow. wow, naman. Look, Pinoy wow. pride. Wow. <laughs> How about you, Sherry? Favorite country you've been to? Uh, Madrid. Mm-hmm. Madrid, for sure. Okay. What's your comfort food after training? 
Kahit ano mas na marami. Sorry. No joke lang. Wala, wala, or. Bawal yun. Sisig ni Sir Alvin. Kahit ano. Basta marami. Basta marami. Basta marami. Can you name a few? Burger. Burger, yeah. For sure. Um, what are you, some of your best moments with the team? We can do last year na lang, because I'm pretty sure madami yan. Pero last year, what's your best moment with the team? Mm. Yeah, favorite moment. As in yung masistik sa inyo forever. Yung ano, yung after nung SEA Games, yung um, almost all of us mag- nag-medal, isa lang yung hindi nag-medal. Kasi yeah, before, that, yeah. before that, ano, before that, before SEA Games, kinausap ko yung head coach namin, yung, Tur- yung Turkish, si Iksan si Okay, sabi ko sa kanya, we'll try to make history. Kasi na parang, yeah. na, kasi wala pa nakagagawa na halos lahat nag-med, nag-gold or na gano'n. Sabi ko, hindi man natin makuha lahat mag-gold, pero pag nakuha naman natin na halos lahat nag-medal, that's, all, that's a very big achievement already. Eh. So yung moment na yun, nangyari yun eh. Tapos, uh, sobrang saya namin, sinabit namin yung mga medal namin sa head coach namin, and, yung, ang, and I'm sure yung feeling na nararamdaman niya that day is mas mas, mas, mas sobra kaysa sa amin. Mas, syempre, emotional siya. And, is is also a emotional emotional person din siya so meron yeah. i think that's what makes sports like karate in general so special is because not only do you see yourself succeed but you also see the ones around you grow and like what you said those precious moments where you get emotional and where like you both you as a team you see each other win and i think that's something that you can't naman see anywhere else besides sports, no? And I think those moments are what makes life as an athlete super precious. Okay, uh, we'll, be, we'll go on break again and we'll be back shortly. We'll be back shortly. This is Sport Watch over here on V81 Radio, South Manila. Pagpatak ng 7, dapat lahat nakatutok sa amin. Catch these programs at 7 p.m. Pacific Time. Talk Shop Asia Global, USA Edition. With Rolly Pagaspas and Rosario Kahukam Brad Perry. Home Not Alone, Sounds From Home. With Papa Gio and Freedom in Christ. With Felsen, it's all about entrepreneurship, entertainment, and enlightenment. Back-to-back-to-back programs at 7. LA at 7. LA at 7. Exclusively on V81 Radio, Los Angeles. You ready to explore a new kind of music? Yung bang kakaiba na hindi mo pa napapakinggan? Mga bagong artist. Nagugulat sa inyo sa kanilang awit at tugtugan. Discover them, hear them in Napalm Hour. Ang Napalm ay ang new all Pinoy alternative music source na para sa kakaibang musika. Alternative artists and bands all the time. Catch them at Napalm Hour. Mondays through Fridays, 12 noon to 1 p.m. and 8 to 9 p.m. Streaming live on V81 Radio mobile app. Kaya i-download mo na for free. Now na! Kabayan, nahuhomesick ka ba? I-download na ang aming mobile app at mag-enjoy sa mga kantang tatap Pinoy and feel like you're home. The V81 Radio Mobile App, available in the App Store and Google Play Store. V81 Radio Mobile App, free now, free forever. Now back to Sports Watch, only here on V81 Radio, South Manila. Okay, we're back here at Sports Watch. Let's welcome back our guest, karate athlete. Yay! There we go. <laughs> there. Uh, before we go, guys, I'd like to ask you lang, can you share some encouraging words for those that want to get into karate or those that just want to tune in and get to know more about the sport in general? Siguro we can start with you, Jamie. Yeah. 
Um, so I hope that people consider karate and actually take a look at it because um, it's not really known. And I know na parang was favored other more famous sports like basketball, yeah. volleyball. Yeah. But um, maraming different sports na magaling yung Filipino. So um, I hope you give karate a chance and check it out. So we just want to thank um karate Filipinas because um they re- our NSA they're really doing a good job in taking mm. care of us and making supporting us. Giving us the proper training and training programs, and also shout out to pala sa atletang Filipino because it's an mm. organization that um and that wants to support yung mga grassroots na athletes to all to becoming Olympic hopeful. So yun atletang Filipino and karate Filipinas. Thank you. Yeah, please ano, please ah uh, sa lahat sa lahat ng sa lahat ng mapapanood nitong interview um. You can share it. <laughs> yeah. uh, please, please share and please ano, please share and please support ka Karate Pilipinas and Atleta Filipino. If if you have time and you can change your profile picture into use the frame in use the frame of uh, Atleta Filipino, was okay yon. Because this is not just for ano for us sa karate. Ito ay para sa lahat ng lahat ng sports sa uh, sa buong Pilipinas na mm-hmm. ipakita natin mga ano na sa ating mga mama, para, para to sa ating mga mamamayang Pilipino na kababayan na manonood na sana sana tulungan natin ang ating mga atleta uh, para isa to sa tulungan natin yeah. Yeah. yeah how about you Alwyn can you share uh, can you share some encouraging words if you were to tell yourself your kid version self couple of years ago, what would it be? Uh, sa atin, ako, if you're passionate about what you're doing, keep doing it. Tapos, mm-hmm. um, when it comes to karate, I think it is for everyone. Not only na, hindi naman lahat gusto makapasok mm-hmm. sa Olympics, maging competitive, pero at the same time, it keeps you physically fit and then allows you to learn about basic self-defense. So, it's a good um not the skill. It's a good um, part to put in your life. So, sa akin, uh, I'm encouraging everyone to to try karate. And then if you, ano, and and then also if you want to continue it, just do it. Yes. Thank you for that. How about you, Ivan? Can you share some encouraging words for those that want to get into karate or those that want to support it in general? Uh, um keep dreaming keep yeah. keep doing syempre kung mahal niyo yung sport edi tuloy-tuloy lang mm. so yun keep keep dreaming keep dreaming okay all right uh where can the view our viewers or audience find you guys when you compete like is there a specific website you guys want to propo- promote or if you guys want to promote your personal instagram or where they can catch you, please do. Uh, you guys want to go one by one. Share your first. You can also promote your gigs. <laughs> your celebrity gigs. <laughs> where can the audience um, find your tournament? Okay. Okay, so, uh, if you guys want to check out kung kamusta yung ating karate, karate athletes, you, know, you can go to Karate Filipinas page. So I think uh, that page updates yung mga sitwasyon namin. And sa aming personal account naman, sa Facebook account, you can search my name as Cyrus Cruz. And then in Instagram account, you can read my name as Sharif Afif. And ayun, uh, again, my last time, uh, last, last na sasabihin ko, please support talaga yung, please support, uh, please support at ng Pilipino. Mm. Uh, is there, do you guys have a page, Sharif, na our audience can like or for Atletang Filipino. Yeah, yeah, they can do they can do a hashtag Atletang Pilipino lalabas yun, lalabas doon. And they, they they can use they can also use the frame. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyone else want to add their Instagram or where uh, our viewers can watch them at the tournament? Alana. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sige. Um Go go Jamie, go. Jamie, my Instagram handle is Jamie Christine Lim. So, medyo yeah. coming up at, I think we're pretty updated naman. Like, we post our okay. PR and then our competitions sure. and some videos also. So, you can check us out there. Okay, okay. Yeah. How about you, Ivan? Any Anything to share? I've, uh, Instagram, Ivan 
that I have a 99.ph. And then That's it. Okay. Thank yeah. you guys so much for um for coming with me today Thanks. to talk karate. I really appreciate it. And for sure we'll be supporting you. Thank you. Uh, well, uh, shout, shout out sa Ravin Jets sa uh, napakagaling namin presidente si Shia yeah. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Ano, thank, thank you for the, all of this opportunity na binigay mo sa amin. And sa mga coaches, kapit <laughs> lang. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much, Ma'am Nicole. Thank Bye. you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless. One thing we can all learn from today's show is that millennials have the capability to impact the country's sports fabric, or in short, uh, karate in general. Uh, in this case, our karate athletes mentioned values such as discipline. Well, some of the values they had mentioned. The importance of discipline, preparedness, camaraderie, team spirit. These are all these are all values that help them prosper, not just in sports, but in life as well, because you can apply these values in and outside of the court. This is, these are all important, significant things that we learn competing. And like these karate athletes, they compete and represent flags uh, globally and here as well in the SEA Games. So the values that they pick up are very important. And that's why Sports is super, it's great to encourage sports to those around you because it really helps, it really helps you pick up values and things that you can apply in your daily life. So once again, this is your resident sports girl anchor, Nicole Ganglani. Thank you for tuning in today. Catch me live every Saturday from 11 to 12.30 a.m. for more sports action. Up next is we have shows. Beauty in the Box, hosted by Ali Amre from 1 to 2 p.m. And then we have Making a Difference by Erica Minson, 3 to 4 p.m. And then we have a new All Pinoy, Al Pinoy sorry, Alternative by Charlie Diaz. And Let's Chat with Tita Gracie by Gracie Valenzuela from 6 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. Only on VM Radio South Manila. Thank you. Get your head in the game and join the tribe every Saturday as we hear the stories of athletes, fitness personalities, and enthusiasts from the sports world. Hosted by your resident sports girl anchor, Nicole Ganglani, bringing you sports action on Sports Watch every Saturday, 11 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Philippine time. Until next time, only here on V81 Radio, South Manila. Walang kasing saya ang Paskong Pinoy. Dumaan man ang problema at pandemya, kayang-kayang lampasan. Basta't nagdadamayan at nagmamahalan. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Tuloy na tuloy pa rin ang Pasko dito sa V81 Radio, South Manila. Ito ang paborito ng bawat Pilipino. Basta all hits, all Pinoy, panalo. Merong kwentong iyakan at Radio.